In December 2019, a new coronavirus, which causes an illness known as COVID-19, was largely confined to China. However, in 2020, the virus spread to at least 188 countries, causing an international pandemic. While many have a shared experience of having this Nobel coronavirus in their country, the reactions of different governments have seen markedly different health, social, economic and political outcomes. You're about to see press conferences, both conducted on April 20, 2020, in New Zealand and the United States of America. Using a technique called Epistemic Network Analysis, or ENA, we analyse connections made between health, social, economic and political factors that were evident in statements made by national leaders and those advising them in this early stage of the pandemic. On the left, you'll see a rolling transcript from each press conference with color-coded words highlighting each of the four different themes. Below the transcript, you'll see an epistemic network being built, which shows the connections between these themes being made. The thicker the line connecting each node, the stronger the connection. At the end of the two press conferences, you'll see a subtraction network, which highlights the differences between the connections made in two countries with very different responses. Over the past few weeks, I've often used my time at this podium to acknowledge the people on the front line. Today, I want to remember the people in New Zealand who have lost someone to COVID-19, or the many more who had the terror of almost losing someone. Throughout this pandemic, there have been individuals who I have tracked the progress of. I didn't know their names, but I knew their status. And I still get a phone call for every individual person that we lose to COVID-19 in New Zealand. This week, businesses will be allowed to get ready to open, such as employers re-entering premises to receive stock if necessary, but we ask, that in doing so, they stick to social distancing and their bubbles. This is not an early move out of alerts, it is merely a matter of preparation. Following the release of our reopening guidelines, Governors across the country are looking forward to phase one and announcing plans for an economic resurgence. We're going to have a resurgence, too. At a time when millions of American workers and families are struggling with the financial consequences of the virus, it's critical to continue the medical war while reopening the economy in a safe and responsible fashion. Similar to the situation with ventilators, States need to assess their complete inventory of available capacity. Some states have far more capacity than they actually understand. And it is a complex subject, but uh, some of the governors didn't understand it. Uh, the governor, as an example, Pritzker from Illinois, did not understand his capacity. Not simply ask the federal government to provide unlimited support. I mean, you have to uh, take the support where you have it, but we are there to stand with the governors and to help the governors, and that's what we're doing. And they have a tremendous capacity that we've already built up, and you'll be seeing that. We're going to be introducing a couple of the folks in a little while to talk about it. and how the federal government can support them in developing their strategies linked to the overarching federal strategy of testing as outlined in our guidelines. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. President.
Here we can see the individual ENA networks for the press conferences from the United States on the left and New Zealand on the right. In the middle, there is a subtracted or difference network that highlights the differences in connections made between the themes in the press conferences. Where the subtracted network is red, there are stronger connections in the United States press conference. Where they are blue, there are stronger connections made in the New Zealand press conference. From this subtracted network, we can see that in the US press conference, there were much stronger connections between medical and political themes, as well as between medical and economic. In contrast, in the New Zealand press conference, there were much stronger connections between the social community theme and all others, with a particular emphasis on the connections between social community and medical. This can be interpreted as the US press conference focusing much more on the political handling and implications of the pandemic, and the New Zealand press conference focusing more on how the pandemic impacted communities and society, and was generally concerned with how economic and political fallout of the pandemic impacted communities.